On the evening of March 27th, at 5.36 p.m., a devastating 9.2 magnitude earthquake demolished the town of Prince William Sound, Alaska. The earthquake was followed by 11 6.0 aftershocks in the same night. Thousands of aftershocks occurred in the ensuing months after the awful quake. The quake affected all of Alaska, some parts of Canada, and even Washington and Oregon. The earthquake spanned over a 1,300,000 kilometer radius. The initial quake lasted four minutes. The earthquake occurred 25 kilometers below the surface. The four minute duration of shaking triggered many landslides and avalanches. Major structural damage occurred in many of the major cities in Alaska. The damage totaled 300 to 400 million dollars. Parts of Anchorage built on loose soil were completely destroyed. The number of deaths from the earthquake totaled 131, 115 in Alaska, and 16 in Oregon and California combined. Much of the damage and most of the lives lost were due to the efforts of water waves. These were mainly of two kinds, the tsunami of open ocean sea wave generated by large scale motion of the sea floor, and the local wave generated by underwater landslides in the bays of fjords. The Great Alaskan earthquake was followed by the second largest tsunami ever recorded, which is estimated to have killed 82 people of the 131 killed. The height of the waves was recorded at 70 meters high. The Great Alaskan Earthquake was the largest quake ever recorded in North America. I saw people running. It was just ghastly. They were just engulfed by buildings, water, mud, and everything. In my house in Cordova eating dinner when the quake struck, our house came almost completely off the foundation. 